I followed Thursday as complimentary winner with Villanova with an even easier one on Friday night as Rhode Island took care of business at VCU. Three more college complimentary plays for this busy Saturday card coming up in just a moment. Of course, we are just one more day removed from that little football game in Minneapolis, but that'll be tomorrow's story. Today, a lot of college basketball action and a lot more coming up in the next six weeks as we continue our march towards March Madness. Uh, among today's featured plays, Shawn Michaels, just the second 100-dime release of the college basketball season going. His first Wednesday night, Nevada taking care of business against Fresno State, the second going today. It's on the SEC clash between Tennessee and Old Miss. Now, I'm going to give you my take on that game as one of today's complimentary plays in just a moment. But just like the 100 dime winner the other night, you can get it for over half price off for today's card simply by using coupon code. Are you ready? It's an easy one. The coupon code is LATE, L-A-T-E, because the game goes at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. Also going today, Matt Rivers, the sixth college basketball blank check release of the season. It's on one of the marquee games today, going at 4 o'clock Eastern Time at the Carrier Dome. Virginia taking on Syracuse last Saturday. He cashed in with one of those under-the-radar games, Louisiana Lafayette taking care of business against Troy State. You got it for over half price off. Same deal applies today simply by using coupon code blank. By the way, today, Louisiana Lafayette is on the road playing their first game since last Saturday's win at home. They are taking on the Warhawks of Louisiana Monroe, and I'm going to give you my breakdown of that game for another one of today's complimentary plays. Also, Anthony Red, who's been on a very nice little run here of late the past 13 days, making $10 betters, a little over $3,700, going for winning day number 10 out of 14, top-rated 100-time college hoops winner number 13 out of 18, Pac-12. 12. Game of the year, Oregon and Stanford last Saturday. 100 dime winner, Kentucky out right over West Virginia. This play just as strong. You get it for over half price off using coupon code RED. And Jeff Benton, first 150 dime raise to bar release this college basketball season. Remember, we had two of them in college football, the two biggest games of the college football season, both times back in Georgia. Outright over Oklahoma in the Rose Bowl, covering against Alabama in the national title game. You got them from both over half price off. Same deal goes today, over half price off. It's the revenge game of the year. Goes on the very early afternoon card. You get it for again, over half price off by using coupon code 150 dimer. 150 D I M E R. Sing it after me. All your other coupon codes are over on the homepage, including the one this being, of course, Saturday. You remember, every single Saturday, I give you a coupon code that can give, potentially save you hundreds of dollars. It's a mix and match coupon. It is 24%, 24-P-E-R-C-E-N-T. That'll save you 24% off your total purchase price, mix and match coupon, which means it's good for any combination of handicappers, picks, and or packages. But the only stipulation is a single-use coupon, which means you've got to put everything in your shopping cart at one time to maximize your savings. If you happen to be on any long-term packages, you want to extend your handicappers package out further, you can do so with that coupon as well. Should you have any questions on how to use it, just contact customer service. Now, let's get to your complimentary plays today. Uh, let's start with a couple of the uh, SEC plays I have. Uh, first of all, Tennessee is hosting Mississippi today. Uh, the game tips at 6 o'clock Eastern time. Tennessee is a big 10.5 point favorite, but I'll tell you what. I've uh, taken the Vols many times this season, and I'm going to ride them once more here. They're coming off a big 84-61 blowout win at home against LSU this Wednesday night. They're 4-1 and one playing in Rocky Top at home this season in conference play, having beaten Vanderbilt, Texas A&M, and Kentucky. Their lone loss coming to Auburn, nothing to be ashamed of there. They've won four straight, seven of their last game, eight games over overall. Meanwhile, the Rebels are coming off a 79-70 home loss to Auburn as a five-point underdog on Tuesday night. Uh, started a four-guard lineup in that particular game. Um, shot five for 21 from three-point land uh, in that contest. Only hit 41% of their shots overall. That was the 12th different starting lineup for Andy Kennedy's team this season. Not surprisingly, starting a four-guard lineup, 
They gave up 19 offensive rebounds in that game. Last Saturday in the Big 12 SEC Challenge, they lost 85-72 at Texas. They're 1-4 their last five overall. They're 0-6 on the season in true road games, losing in SEC play. Uh, by four points at Arkansas, by seven or by two points at Texas A&M, by 11 points in Athens to Georgia. Earlier this year, I had a big play going against them when they visited Middle Tennessee State. They lost by 19 in that one. The only reason I didn't use Tennessee as my own personal best bet here, I was just a little leery, wondering whether or not Tennessee perhaps would get caught looking ahead to a visit to Kentucky on Tuesday. Now, the Wildcats are not the Kentucky that everybody has feared in past years. But if you're an SEC school, you still look forward to playing at Rupp Arena. So that was the only hesitation I had. But listen, you've got a Tennessee team in the RPI ratings that is ranked number 12. You've got an Ole Miss team that is 83. Again, you got an Ole Miss team that is 0-6 in true road games. And here's something interesting that I dug up in doing some research here and came across in one of the uh, uh, previews by one of the beat writers. In five SEC home games, Old Miss is holding its opponents to 38% shooting and 68.6 points a game. But in four SEC road games, opponents are shooting 48% and averaging 81 points. That's nearly 13 points more a game the Rebels are allowing on the road than at home. And that shooting percentage almost 10 points worse on the road than in Oxford this season. So that's why I really considered making Tennessee one of my best bets today. Another play for you. Uh, Miss State is a three-point favorite at home today against Georgia. Now, if you look at Miss State's schedule, uh, one loss at home in Starkville this season, mainly a bunch of cupcakes, even when you look at who they've played in SEC play. But the reason I like Miss State here, uh, a couple of nights ago, they went to South Carolina. This is a team that had been 0-5 in true road games this season, and they pulled off the upset, winning outright as a four-and-a-half-point dog in Columbia, 81-76. I've got to think that that is going to be a huge, huge emotional motivational lift for the Bulldogs when they return here today. And they're going to need it because Georgia is no pushover. Now, Georgia is coming off a big win of their own, 72-60 as a three-and-a-half-point underdog at home against Florida the other night. But the Bulldogs had lost three, the Georgia Bulldogs in this battle of Bulldogs, the Georgia Bulldogs had lost three straight in five of their past six prior to beating Florida. And they have lost five of their last six on the road. Um... So you got a 14 and one home team against a team that's three and five in true road games on the season. The only loss to Mississippi State at home this season came against Auburn. I know because I had Auburn that night. It was a game in which they were up by 10 at halftime and they lost that game 85 to 70. But I'm going to go with momentum being on Miss State's side. I'm going to lay the three points. I think it's going to be a damn close game. It's going to go right down to the wire. But I do like Mississippi State to pull off the win. Do I like it as much as Tennessee? No, but I do like Miss State in this one. Uh, your next complimentary play. Let me talk about that Sun Belt clash between UL Lafayette and UL Monroe. And once again, UL Monroe, just in case you're on Jeopardy, the nickname, the Warhawks. And you know UL Lafayette, the Raging Cajuns. Uh, the Cajuns coming off an 81-69 uh, win against Troy at home last Saturday. They're off to a 9-0 start in conference play. Um, they won the first meeting between these two, 82-48 at home as a 14.5 point favorite back on January 13th. Outscored the Warhawks 28-14 in the paint in that game. Listen, they have won 16 of their last 17 games overall, and the lone loss in that stretch came at Clemson. They were supposed to lose at Clemson. You get my drift? Um... Along the way, they have won all four of their Sun Belt road games, beating Little Rock, Arkansas by 14, beating Arkansas State by 10, beating Texas Arlington by 14, beating Texas State by 25, 4-0 on the Sun Belt road, all four wins by double-digit margins. Now, Louisiana Monroe is coming off back-to-back -back home wins, beating Troy State by 5, beating South Alabama by 9. Uh, they had lost their previous four games, a four-game losing streak that started with that loss at Louisiana Lafayette. 
Now, I can tell you that Louisiana Monroe is 8 and 1 at home, but here's what I think that's more important. You look at the quality of the teams that these two have played, and it's most reflected in the RPI ratings. You've got, again, an RPI for Louisiana Lafayette of 54. You've got an RPI of Louisiana Monroe of 281 out of 351 Division I teams. There is no comparison between the quality of schedule and opponents for these two squads. Louisiana Lafayette is covered at a 15-5-1 tune in terms of conference play in their last 21 games and in their last 21 games overall. So, again, I'm going to have to lay the 10.5 points with a well-rested Raging Cajun squad laying the 10 and a half points in this mid-afternoon tilt, and I think they'll cover in a double-digit fashion once more in the series and on the road as they've done in their first four Sunbelt games on the season. So those are your three complimentary plays. If I had to rate the three, I would say Tennessee would be number one. Uh, number two... I'll go, I'll go with Louisiana Lafayette, and number three would be Miss State because, again, Georgia, if you look at, even though Georgia has struggled on the road, and let me just go back to that game one more time. If you look at the quality of opponents that Georgia has faced on the road, it's been a daunting schedule. The Bulldogs have lost those games, but the quality of competition has been tough, and the margin of loss has been right there. The Bulldogs have been right there on the edge of every single one of those games. So again, I think that Miss State Georgia game is going to be right there, right around that three-point margin. So that's why of the three complimentary plays, I rank that one the lowest. I like it, but just not as much as Tennessee and UL Lafayette. Okay, that'll do it for Saturday. And uh, back here on Sunday when we talk about that little football game. Talk to you then, guys. Best.